Hi Aquarius, I'm back. I know, I know. February was a crazy month for me. Um, I did not complete all of the February uh, 2018 readings, but um, here I am for March. Um, I'll save the announcements till the end. Um, let's go ahead and jump right in this. So this is for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising. It's a general reading. Please do not get upset if it does not resonate with you. Uh, check your other signs or rising, uh, Venus, whatever. Uh, or check with a different reader. You know, we all pull different energy. All right, so let's get started. Thank you for the messages for Aquarius. Thank you for the messages. We'll start with love. The messages for Aquarius love life. The messages for Aquarius love life. The messages for Aquarius love life. Messages for Aquarius love life. All right, that's way too many. I'm gonna do three card. Thank you for the messages for Aquarius love life. Two of Earth. The five of Fire. The Moon. The Messenger of Earth. So that's the messenger of fire. That's uh, the knight of wands. <clears throat> then we have the ace of water at the bottom of the deck. Okay, it's supposed to be three cards. Two of earth, five of fire, the moon, messenger of fire, ace of water. So it looks like there's love here with someone. It could be a fire sign. But there's a lot of unknown in the midst of dealing with this person. You could be dealing with a Pisces person, a Pisces individual. Um, yeah, you could be dealing with a Pisces individual. It might be a love affair. It, it might be someone else involved in this with the two of, of Earth here. Um, and there's a lot of inner conflict or competition, outside competition or inner conflict within yourself as to should I stay in this? Uh, there's a lot that I don't know, but this person is very passionate or you're very passionate toward this person. And there is uh, love here. The Ace of Water is here. That's for some of you. All right. <clears throat> Let's keep going. All right, Aquarius love. We'll do one more spread for love. Aquarius love life. Aquarius love life. True, accurate messages for Aquarius love life. Aquarius love life. What should they know? What should they be aware of? Thank you for messages to govern and guide. Six of Earth or Six of Pentacles. Thank you for the messages for Aquarius love life. The messages for Aquarius love life. Two of Water. Four of Water. <coughs> Excuse me. The messages for Aquarius love life. Seven of fire. Bottom of the deck, the magician. All right. So right off that, what I'm hearing is some of you could be dealing with uh, Gemini, Aries, or, queer, or another Aquarius with the magician here. There is mutual love, and it sits next to the Six of Pentacles. So it reciprocates, whether you're dealing with the Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, a Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But someone doesn't know if they want to take the offer, if they really want to invest. They're a little standoffish. Um, they're looking away from uh, uh, the offer, the Four of Water. 
and, and the two of cups. Well, yeah, that, well, they're looking toward it, but they're also guarded. The seven of fire or the seven of wands. But someone's trying to manifest and this is a one card. So it's, it's you know, you're really trying to put all of your effort, all of your work, all of everything into this to um, to make it happen. Somebody laid their cards on the table. Somebody was very honest about how they felt. And their, but their offer may not be taken. Seven of fire. Because somebody's guarded now. But the feelings of love and and reciprocity are here. Hmm. Alright, let's keep going. Okay. Thank you for the messages for Aquarius career and business career and business for Aquarius career and business for Aquarius messages for career and business for Aquarius messages that will govern and guide their career lives their business lives give them insight thank you thank you thank you for the messages the messages for Aquarius career and business career and business career and business true accurate messages all right to just turn over three of our of air ace of water messenger of fire and then the page of water at the bottom of the deck Someone has departed from either a job, an, uh, an affiliation, a business partnership, something of that nature. The three of air is here, separation, divorce. It was bittersweet, but you're rushing into what you enjoy doing, what you love doing. You want or you want to be able to do this, uh, but you know that you have to depart. Some of you have already left a situation, a career or a business. We've got one foot in and one foot out. You're trying to do something creative, something that you love. The page of water is here. Messages of maybe what fulfills you on an emotional level, you being able to monetize that is here the messages are here it, it looks like you'll be emotionally fulfilled in whatever you choose but you have to let something go something has to be sacrificed here the three of air or the three of hearts or the three of swords I'm gonna pull one more card okay one more card. Where are they sacrificing? What is Aquarius sacrificing for career and finance? Career and finance. Career and finance. One card. One card for career and finance. Career and finance. The Empress. All right, looks like in order to, um, yeah, this is going to be very lucrative, very fruitful, very fulfilling for you if you sacrifice I'm here for some of you. Oh, I just heard two things. Some of you, career and finance for you is divorcing. When you divorce, you'll receive 
of course, monies that will make you abundant and fruitful so that you can then engage in something passionate and emotionally fulfilling for you in your career and finance life. And then what I heard for another set of you was that um, once you let go of a third party, because this is two, three cards, once you let go of a third party, the fulfillment will come in. Like your money will start to flow better. It's like almost as if your karmic energy is off. You are doing something or engaging in something that may not be more morally or ethically right. Uh, so spirit and spiritual principle and law can't really work for you. It can only work against you because you aren't in, in right standing in one area of your life. And it may be in your love life, like because you aren't doing right in your love life, uh, career and finances block right now and once you let go of a third party then of course um, I'm hearing that there might be even resurgence in in love and who your your main partner with your main partner and it may be a resurgence of love and then everything else will flow okay Thank you for the messages for Aquarius home and family home and family Messages for Aquarius home and family Aquarius home and family Aquarius home and family Same messenger, fire. Some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign. Home and family. Home and family. Ace of fire. All right. Age of fire. On the bottom of the deck, five of air. So right off the bat, Air Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Some of this could be in your sun, I mean your rising moon, Venus, Sun, or this could be the actual person that you're dealing with. Uh, you could be dealing with a children or a child in your home that's significant messenger of fire knight of wands and then the ace of fire a lot of action going on here a lot of passion there might be some passionate nights in the home and family uh, if you're married or you live with your partner, a lot of a lot of sexual activity, page of fire. There may be um, hmm. okay. So I just heard that some some of you are being asked from your partner or you're asking your partner to do different things sexually in the bed. Uh, the other partner, if this is you, Aquarius five of air, there's a little bit indecision about that. Like, like you don't know if you want to engage in whatever is being asked of you. Five of air. Yeah. This could be you Aquarius.
something's moving really quickly, really fast. You, it's like you have to take action in the home. A message comes in and you just have to take action. But at the same time, there's a lot of inner conflict or there are arguments maybe between you and someone else in the home. It could be a, a fire sign in the home who is very childish. Hmm. All right. Let's keep moving. All right, messages for Aquarius spirituality, spirituality and and growth and inner growth, spirituality, inner growth. Messages for Aquarius spirituality and inner growth, spirituality and inner growth, spirituality and inner growth, spirituality, inner growth. Spirituality, inner growth. All right. Page of Earth, Queen of Earth. Mm. Spirituality, inner growth. Spirituality. All right. I'll take the one that's turned over. Ace of Earth. Nice. Spirituality, inner growth. And at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of water nice 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 aquarius okay so spiritually you are grounded or you need to be grounded i can't even say need to be if you have nothing but earth cards and spirituality and growth and then the ace of water at the bottom of the deck and on top of that the king of air that's you nice i'm sorry i had to pull those um some of you definitely could be dealing with the earth sign, but spirituality and growth, this is definitely you getting in touch with um, practical matters, practical things in your life. Uh, money looks good. Money looks good, and it's it's almost tied in with your spirituality. It's almost as if you you know who you are. You're grounded and you're rooted in whatever spiritual practice that uh you are a part of it's almost as if something else governs you so and and you you acknowledge that you know that and you show reverence to the fact that you are not the the um the giver of all good things But you show reverence to whatever spiritual um, belief, whomever you believe in, God, whatever. Um, you show reverence and, and honor. And it's almost as if whoever you believe in, whatever you believe in is, is um, rewarding you in finance and in love. It's like they're tied together and it's almost like you're so grounded and you're making really good decisions spiritually to the point where it's overflowing uh earthly monetarily materialistically it's oh it's almost as if you don't make a move in your your uh in your life in your financial sector until you consult spirit it's almost as if you have some spiritual rituals practices that you engage in and they keep you grounded making clear and concise decisions being truthful and honest bringing good money and emotional fulfillment nice aquarius you have really mastered that wow you mastered that wow i mean like wow <laughs> that's good all right, let's get some advice cards and let's get out of here. That's nice. Like, it's like, um, you don't, it's, it's like you don't make a move, a, a big decision unless you consult, you know, your spiritual guide, whatever, whomever that may be for you. And it's keeping you grounded and they are rewarding you 
for knowing that, you know, um, that, hey, they've been governing your life and helping you. All right, one, one card for Aquarius. Love life. We've got two. Seeking and finding health care change. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, lo love for Aquarius. Seeking and finding. Whatever you're looking for is, is looking for you also. Keep in mind that if in love, if you're seeking, if you're spying, know that you will find whatever you're seeking. Be ready to take action. If you're not going to take action, like real action, in, in something, if you feel like you're being slighted, if you feel like you're being played, if you feel like you're being taken advantage of, if you're not going to take action after finding whatever it is you find, then stop seeking it. You're wasting your time and the other person's time. Because if nothing changes after you find whatever it is you're looking for, and that person knows that nothing's going to change or you aren't going to change or you aren't going to leave or whatever, they'll continue to do whatever they do. And that's the, that's the tone. And that's the message you're setting. So know that whatever, um, if you're seeking and finding, you will find it. Um, if you're not going to do anything, leave it alone. Um, also for my singles, it, it, you know, what you're seeking is looking for you too. Stay hopeful, positive. Healthcare change. For some of you uh, in love, what I'm hearing is that, okay, so you need to take care of your health, all right? Uh, that's getting annual checkups. I'll just put it out there. STD checkup, all that stuff. Um, also, for some of you, you need to engage in a different um, diet dietary change, exercise program. Health care. Take care of your health because it's affecting your love life. It's affecting your esteem too, or lack thereof. All right. Um, so, career and finance. This won't be true to yourself. Nice. Career and finance. Be true to you. You had the three of swords in career and finance, like you, you know, and then you had all of the emotional cards, the ace of water and the page of water. It's something you love to do, but you're scared to do it because you don't know how you can make money doing it. A uh, career and finance, parental care, career and finance. For some of you, career and finance is affected by the fact that you are parents or you are caring for a parent. The page of water was there. Um, it's like you can't do what you want to do because there are restrictions on that because of the, the children. You might have to wait until they get a little older or you might have to really devise a plan of action. All right. <clears throat> Home and family. Family changes. Wow. Some of you are giving birth, adopting, uh, getting a pet. Somebody's moving out of the home. Someone is moving into the home. Family changes. Yeah, nice. Okay. Uh, some of you need to worry about your children too. What? I, and then I said, and then what flips over is adult children, or some children that feel like they're adults. Yeah, you have to worry about them. Um. Family changes. Uh, some of you are not as close with your children as you feel like you should be because uh, it's just a riff. And it's just there. Some of you have a teenager and um, things aren't, you know, they're in that, that phase where, you know, they hate you and you kind of hate them too. Uh, because they're teenagers, but they grow out of that. You know, so just know there's growing pains. Things will get better. Keep praying about it. Keep uh, keep the positivity in your home as best as possible. Um, you know, I didn't like my mom when I was a teenager. We can stand each other. And now we're like best friends. So it just, 
you just have to grow with them, okay? All right, spirituality. Healing from the past. Wow, okay. That's pretty self-explanatory. Healing from the past and spirituality. Oh, wow. And then what flipped over? Spiritual growth. So it looks like for some of you, you can only have that spiritual growth if you heal from the past. If you have not healed from the past, spiritually, you cannot grow. Some of you have done this because you had nothing but earth cards. You're very grounded. You have grounded yourself. Spiritual growth is here for some of you. For some of you, keep going through the healing process. All right, so if this resonated with you, please click that like button. Like, like, like. Share, comment, subscribe. It all is much appreciated. Uh, thank you, thank you again for continuing to uh, come back. You can reach me on Instago if you have a question or two. You can reach me by my email, all information, all information, all information, all information is below. Um, my email address, uh, Instagram, if you want to follow me there, Instago, all of that information is below. I just thank you guys for continuing to come back. Uh, this is, it, it feels so good to be able to do this for, for you and for myself. Uh, I am an Aquarius. Uh, so, um, just keep doing the work. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. And remember, when in doubt, pray. Thank you again, Aquarius. Take care.